Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's the Iri Source Thrift Store on Upper Gage in Hamilton. So here we are going in. They don't want people dumping anything on the outside. So uh, that was what the frowning face was for. It's a, a nicely set up store. Um, you come in, you see this really nice stuff right away. The windows are reasonably well done. There's lots of cool stuff here. And uh, here we are, we're looking at this ceramic purse. It's a, it's a piggy bank of sorts. And they've got these, these decorative masks for the wall. The fool doth, doth think he is wise, but a wise man knows himself to be a fool. That was in another part of the store, but it seemed to fit in this area for better. Artificial hot cross bun. Look at that. So, you never know what you find in these shops. I'm, se I'm serious. Not sure what this store was prior to becoming a, a, a thrift store, but it could have been as much as a grocery store for, for all I know. Joshua Maxwell looks all. I didn't know it was that modern a, an item. Cool little clock with a prop up leg so it could stand up. The front is set up like a small um, living room spaces, like rooms. And these, these, they've got all these decorative objects. And these bookcases, artwork near the tar top. There's artwork in numerous places in this store. Even the furniture in those living rooms has uh, decorative items placed upon them. So it's not a tiny small store, but I have seen larger thrift stores than this. Out of this group of stores, the, of the resource stores, this is definitely the larger one. Uh, there's another one I've come across, and I know there's more than the two, but the other one I've been at is in Brantford, which is significantly smaller than this store. Also very nice, nicely done, but this store is much larger. Let's take the lid off the teapot first to take a look. And it's an oriental script on the bottom. Very nice teapot otherwise. I wasn't looking for one of those, but uh, yeah, like I said, the magpie, uh, magpie eye catches, gets caught by lots of shiny objects. The cabin, those, those uh, units were probably also for sale without the contents. Here's one of those, here's a second, there's at least three or four of those kind of settings that they've set up to help sell them. In the end, we bought one of those shawls. I hope you can consider uh, subscribing to this channel and uh, put a mark on the bell so you'll see when we actually have our next uh, video posted. Okay, thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.